What is going on inside this small metal box may one day shake the firmly held beliefs of millions of people. At the very least, it may change how human beings think about their world, their connection to it, and their connection to each other. And if this box is going to do any of that, it will be doing it in, of all places, Mike Chaponis's living room. That's it. <laughs> It is nothing more than a simple random number generator. It flips a digital coin, if you will, 200 times a second. Including Chaponis's, there are 70 of them scattered around the world. They are called eggs, and they are the machines at the core of the Global Consciousness Project. It's pushing the boundaries of knowledge. Here's how it works. 24-7, 365, the eggs flip their imaginary coins, then send the results to a computer in Princeton, New Jersey. On most days, the output is, as it should be, random. But every once in a while, the eggs behave strangely. They veer off random and start acting in unison. On a graph, these phenomena show up as spikes, such as this one. And here is where this all gets very interesting. The date of this spike? is September 11th, 2001. Just a coincidence? Well, how about this bike? Oh my God! December 26th, 2004. Or this one. April 8th, 2005. In all, dozens of world events, according to project scientists, are linked to the random number generators acting in a very unrandom-like way. It's producing a kind of orderly pattern that shouldn't be there by chance. Dean Radin is an author and scientist with the Global Consciousness Project. Working in his office in the hills of Marin County, Radin analyzes the strings of ones and zeros created by the eggs. He is more than intrigued by what he is seeing. So the tentative conclusion is that it appears as though large-scale attention in the world changes the physical environment in some way. If not mind over matter, than a mind-matter connection. At the very least, something interesting is going on. The thinking is, there is something which connects all our minds, a global consciousness, if you will. And on 9-11, for example, instead of everyone concentrating on different or random things, we all focused on the same thing. That non-random pattern in the global consciousness is then somehow registered by the eggs. You may be shaking your head at this point, but some people have theorized such things for centuries, and this may finally be their proof. I'm not in this business to try to convince anybody of anything. I'm in the business to try to understand the nature of mind and matter, essentially. I find their theories about what the data shows a little peculiar. Jerry Schwartz is one of those not yet convinced. A computer scientist and self-proclaimed skeptic, Schwartz believes there is so much data and so much room for interpretation that it is just too easy for someone or a group of someones to find what they want to find. Their results will match their expectations unless extreme care is taken to make sure that there's no way for them to influence the outcomes. And now, if you, like Jerry Schwartz, are also skeptical, this next claim probably won't help. Remember the graph from September 11th? Well, the eggs didn't just spike on that day. They began spiking at 4 a.m. Eastern Time. That's more than five hours before the first plane hit the World Trade Center. Well, how can that happen? Uh, one way of thinking of it is that there is something physically changing in the world that the devices are reacting to. Another way is that uh, perhaps people will respond to big events before the event unfolds. Organizers say, however, the GCP is not about predicting the future. It is about understanding ourselves and our world. Because the project is still in the early stages, they say they will need much more data and many more world-changing events before they reach any mind-changing conclusions. Garvin Thomas, NBC 11 News.